go ahead and do a one on the side and the two on top. And uh, we want to show you the transition. Uh, we're just going to start with a patch for one. We're going to start here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take it all the way up. All the way around. Make sure we cut evenly. Use the same, the same uh, pressure. The pressure that you apply on the clippers will also determine how clean the cut will be. So you want to keep continual pressure on the cut. Okay. And he wants it high and tight. So that's, that's the one all the way around. Put our two on. We're going against the grain. Whenever you're going against the grain, you always make sure you take little uh, short strokes as well as long strokes. So you're, you're actually repeating yourself. When you go up, just like that. Sometimes when you go against the grain, you don't cut all the hair the first time, so you gotta take your, your clipper and actually cause it to go back and forth so that it gets all the hair to clean and consistently. And here I'm just make sure that they're consistent. Okay. Okay, now we have uh, two on top, one on the side. We have a 1A and a one and a half between the two and the one. So now we're gonna go ahead and get our one and a half. We're gonna start down here where the one was. And we're gonna come up and we're just gonna kinda like go up and come off. So we're not gonna stop, we're just gonna go right off into the air. We're gonna go up and come off right into the air so that we don't leave, uh, leave another line of demarcation. So this, this one and a half turns actually into a two. After coming up over that line, rub the line nice and, nice and firm, and as you come up, you leave the head without leaving another line of demarcation. Demarcation is, is this line. This is, this is what we call demarcation. And you see that line meeting the lower line. So we don't want to leave another line, so we just come up and out. Work that line and come out. Work that line and come off and out. We're trying to get rid of that line of demarcation. So it's going to be a little harder because he has lights and darks, but we can still follow that, that same pattern but that same technique of coming up and out. Follow the line. Work the line. Come up and off. So you're not leaving another line of demarcation. So now we have our one, our one and a half, and we have our two. You still can see a light line of demarcation going all the way around. And so I'm going to use 
uh, detachable so we can go ahead and get rid of this line of demarc demarcation okay okay so we have we have now we have our one this is our um, sterling reflections this is a one wide open or a little bit under a one and so we're going to use this to clean up but also we're going to use this now to get this line of demarcation out so I'm going to add my 1 on top of that and that should be somewhere near the 1A so we're going to come up and we're going to open it up wide open we're just going to flick a little bit just to get that line to, to, to come out. I'm going to do that all the way around. Okay. Then we're going to come back with our number one. We can put the number one guard on. We'll open it wide open. We're just gonna we're just gonna go right around the side and work all in this area. So we have a smooth transition. Close up a halfway and work from the bottom, working up with the same technique, cutting out in a way. And as you can see, we're slowly blending it all in. And you might have to put a little pressure here and there. Open it up wide again, coming back up here. We want a nice smooth transition from the light to the dark. If you see some dark, dark areas, you just rub it a little harder. Okay, in the bottom here, you see a little, close it up again, work that area. Okay, lights and darks. Okay, same thing over here, if you see some lights. Let's work that area. Okay, come down a little bit more, close it up a little bit. You can hear the sound of the hair being cut. And then whichever way the grain goes, that's the way you want to go. Close it all the way up. Put that bottom line. Right here, a little darkness right there in this in this corner right here. Open it up wide, just just with the three or four teeth and just work it halfway the basic the basic cutting format is wide open halfway and then close and you can follow that if you're doing a ball fade wide open halfway and then close so if you follow that basic format it doesn't matter whether you're cutting with a master, whether you're cutting with a balls, it doesn't matter if you're cutting with an oyster, whatever you're cutting with, if you follow that basic format, wide open, halfway, close, and you use the flicking motion, you automatically go to the next level. And it'll be easy for you to learn how to fade. Close. Halfway. Any, any lights and darks? Wide open.
You just work it as you need. Okay? Don't want to go up here because that's three to two. So everything around here is like a one and a half going into the two, one A, and then you're one. So you don't want to go, you know your perimeters. And the whole reason why you, you did this first is to set your perimeters. This is a one, that's a two. And everything in between is what you do, what you use to do your blending. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and then we'll get back together in a minute. Okay, um, as you see, we worked that out. Um, again, you just take your time to lights and docks and you can go ahead and get it out. Um, you're gonna go ahead now and do the back, the back line up. I'm gonna push his head to the, to the right. Now he doesn't do a, a front line up, he just does his side um, area. The front of his line, he doesn't line up, so you always want to follow the request of your of your client. Um, you, you can't always do what you want. And so if you're going to be a great barber, you got to be able to follow directions. Um, sometimes it might not be something that you want and the look you want, but um, what's important is what the, what the client wants. Okay, so we go ahead now and we start putting in these sideburns here. Always turn your clipper to the side. And uh, let's come on down. It wasn't kind of long. So he don't really care. So we're going to go ahead and And um, so he doesn't line up there. I do see a couple of little loose hairs coming down, so I'll just do that. I'm gonna keep it natural as possible. Okay, there we have that. That side, same thing on this side. Take his head to the right. And you do that because when you come down here, and you get down to the bottom of his, his nape, the nape of his neck, right here, that's where barbers mark up their clients because the head is up straight and the blade sticks into the skin. So if you turn the head this way, the neck is always flat. And so then he won't, he won't run into the bottom of the neck and, and leave a mark at the bottom of the neck. Okay? You look, you look at the back of the head to make sure that these two lines are symmetrical. If they aren't, you just touch, you know, touch it up where it needs to be touched up. It shouldn't be that much. Let me come back around through here. I'm just going to Give him a slight taper on the back. And then we'll finish that up in a minute. Go around this ear. Take the back the, the, the back end of that clipper. Just curve right around that ear. Okay. And do the same thing we did on the other side. Mm -hmm. 
that right here. Even though he didn't get a line up in the front, we still want him, his points to be even. Now look at him, so I'm gonna make a look at his points on one side, make sure that his points are, are even on both sides. And of course, we can. Um, you guys can use the razor line and to get more detail if you want. You can do that. I'm not sure if he wants that or not, but the main thing we want to work on right now is making sure you guys understand the process of fading and getting a nice smooth blend. Okay. All right, we're going to work with it a little bit more, and then we'll, we'll come back in a minute. 